Welcome back to the Bish Dog Law Group's high school sports beat. I'm Bill Pucko. Over the past three baseball seasons in the three largest classes, the East Side has won all nine of those championships. Well, the West is now making a comeback. In the nine years between 1999 and 2007, Greece Athena and Brockport combined to win six sectional baseball crowns. None since, while teams from Pittsburgh, Sutherland, and Victor dominated area play. But the West Side schools are back in contention while flying a bit under the radar. Oh, we love it. We, we love being the underdogs. Um, it seems uh, every time a team plays us that we, we're looked at as a little bit of an underdog and kind of like, like that role. Athena came into a showdown at Brockport with a 7-1 and one record. This might be too soon. You know, it's a good test today. It's a good Brockport team, so I'm anxious to see how we're going to play today. Uh, Tommy's a good pitcher, probably the best one we've seen all year, so um, I'm anxious to see how we're going to do today. Brockport starting pitcher Tom Sadeski, who doubled as the Blue Devils quarterback during the football season last fall, struck out the first two Trojans and was one pitch away from striking out the side. Dan Curtis hung in there and delivered a base hit. Next up, Athena cleanup hitter Mike DiStefano, who hit the next pitch down the left field line for a double. Curtis coming all the way around from first to score the game's first run. He comes out, he strikes out the first two guys he faces, and you guys look like, well, you know, first inning's not going to amount to anything, and the next thing you know, you've got the ball out there. Just wanted to get us going. I wanted to look for the fastball first pitch. It was right there. I took it, ripped it hard, and I was glad I could do my job with the running. Athena with a one nothing lead that stood into the Brockport third. Facing Frankie Carnavalli, Kevin Smith led the inning off with a hit. Justin Keene hit one to third. Athena's Johnny Ricotta made a diving stop but had no play. I just went off the palm of my glove and I was just trying to keep it in infield from the guy from scoring for second. And I got the job done, but it was really nice and made the play. Yeah. And if it did, it saved a run, I think. It saved a run. There's a guy in second. You know, the only thing is just keep it in the infield and that's what I did. Smith moved to third on a fielder's choice and came home on a sacrifice fly by Frank Marcera to tie the game through three. Athena threatened in the fifth. Jack Vivanetto led off with a single. Botch play on a bunt helped Trojans load the bases with two outs. Zadeski coaxed the dangerous Curtis to ground into his fielder's choice. The game stayed tied. In the bottom half of the inning, it was Brockport's turn. A walk and a sacrifice got DJ Mitchell to second, where Brandon Henshaw, the hockey star, got him home with a clutch two-out hit. The Devils had a two-to-one lead. Well, I was down one-two, and uh, he's got a good curveball. I saw him on the, saw an outside pitch, and saw a curveball, and I just poked it through a center gap to score the run. You feel pretty good having the lead at that point here? Yeah, of course. I mean, I always feel good uh, knowing that you're in the lead. But, you know, you never want to, it was two to one. We never wanted to give up a single run, but, I mean, it's tough. That lead didn't last long. In the Athena sixth, the first two men reached. Colin Johnston's bunt was misplayed, this time with a throw going down the right field line. Di Stefano scored to tie the game, but Ricotta, trying to score all the way from first, was cut down Smith to Sideski to Mike Myers, who applied the tag. That saved a run, but Vivanetto followed with a run-producing hit that put Athena in front, three to two. Sixth inning, I saw a fastball, two strike, I had to go for it. Uh, are you usually a good two-strike hitter? Yeah, I just try not to strike out whatever I can do, and uh, I had to do it. Brockport went out in order in the sixth, third out made on another nice play by Mercada at third for Athena. The Trojans tacked on a couple of insurance runs in the top of the seventh. Mercada with a run producing hit scoring Ryan Prevost to make it four to two. Johnston's hit brought home Carnavalli who was picked up on the mound by Joey Alfieri who notched a five to two victory for eight and one Athena at Brockport. I never sense any panic over here when you were behind two to one. Yeah, I mean, we, we have a lot of seniors, so there's really no need to panic. I mean, we got to play our game, and we did, and uh, that's a very good Brockport team. So I, 
I wasn't surprised at all it was going to be close. So when they were up two to one, we had two of our bats left, and we just knew we had to make the most of them. We want to play teams like this. Um, these these kind of teams, Athena, are going to point out you know the flaws, the things you need to work on as a team. And uh, we've got a couple things we need to work on, um, but we'll bounce back. This team this team responds real well when they find out the things we need to work on. We'll just put it into practice now. We'd like to thank our sponsors, our friends at Sticky Lips Barbecue, our shops on West Ridge and also the Vision Automotive Group. They make the sports beat possible. If you need to know anything about Section 5 sports throughout the week, check out section5talksback.com. If you need to know anything about me and Bill throughout the week, check us out on Twitter at HS Sports Beat. And you can order copies of this program or any of our previous 34 episodes through classywolf.com. The Sports Beat airs every Saturday night following the late local news on 13 Wham TV and again on Sunday morning on Rochester CW Channel 16 at 10.30, immediately preceding the Rochester Press Box from McGregor's. Thanks.